Listen. What sound does silence make? We're all in a different space, but I want you all to just stop and listen. What did you hear? When I first asked that question, it seems quite simple. Listen to silence. But I bet for some of you, when I said to stop, you heard the birds singing. Some of you may have heard the children talking in the other room or probably arguing, especially when you told them to be quiet just at this moment. Some may have even heard your heart beating or your own mind telling you, stop thinking and start listening. The truth is, listening to silence is actually quite difficult because silence is really ever truly silent. The human condition makes us want to search to anchor ourselves to something so that we can hear the silence. I'm here today to help you think about the silences in your business, the things you don't usually hear, but those very strong things that can help you get the success you need. It starts with one fundamental truth, that silence speaks. I learned this in my 37 years as a nurse and working with national and international governments, looking at health policy and looking at ways to improve the outcomes for people. And what always strikes me is how when we actually stop and listen, we hear things that were there all the time. And those things have the power to make us see things differently and help us to drive forward in ways we never imagined. We're living this at the moment with COVID-19. If we think back to March, we think back to lockdown, the world was a much more silent place. And in that silence, we heard about the noises of our society, the good and the bad. Whether at that time you were struck by Captain Tom walking around his house, or the cleaner air, or the fact you actually did have birds in the city, or on the other hand, the national and international movements around Black Lives Matters, or learning how many people lived in isolation, as a society, we heard the sounds that were there all the time. The silence did not create those sounds, but it left a space in which we could hear them. And even now, as a society, months later, we're trying to find ways to work through that, to increase our resilience and move ourselves forward to a better place. It's no different in business. We're all doing that. Here we are, all in the virtual world. We're trying as business owners to find a way to move forward, to increase our resilience and to make things better. Silence speaks to business too. Interestingly, usually when we try and find a way to move forward in our business, we go to the data. We look at our income and our expenditure, our balances and our checks. We go to the numbers. But I want to encourage you to listen to a different kind of sound, a different kind of information. And that is the information that's housed in the value and the culture of your business. Last year, Glassdoor conducted a survey of four, across four countries of the top 50 businesses. And what they heard from both the users of their businesses and the employees were that the best employers and the most successful businesses had one thing in common. Great, strong cultural values built on inclusive practice and excellent leadership. That is the currency that sells at the moment. And that is the sound we need to hear. And what do they get out of this? They get better outcomes, better experiences for their workforce and for their clients. And fundamentally, they get better business outcomes. But how do they do it? How are they able to hear things that we don't hear or haven't heard in our own business? 
What if I was to tell you that you already have all the information you need? All the information is there and it lies in the silent spaces between your numbers, your data and the experiences of your clients and your workers. What you need to do is to stop and listen. And working together, what we can do is help you to hear, to harness and to actually use the strength in the silent stories you already possess. So my challenge to you is this. Do you know what sound the silence makes in your business? Where does it come from? And finally, what is it telling you to do?